I need to pause the music to unpause the camera because I can't hear the deet because the GoPro is loud. This is quiet. Anyway, I'm Zio Spantera, the host of In Ear Fetish. Welcome. And these are the True Wireless DeWalt. So we're back to the True Wireless. We're back to the Tool True Wireless. We did the Milwaukee's already previously. We did the Klein tools previously. And now we're onto the DeWalt. And these model are the JobSite Pro X1, but in your Bluetooth thing, it's going to pair as a DeWalt TWS-209A, which is better than it coming up as just the AESB-1, because no, AES-EB-1, which Klein couldn't, couldn't figure that out. Um, it's still HD audio is only AAC. Um, we're streaming to it. The way all these have worked so far is obviously... Milwaukee has designed the case and the buds, and they're making them themselves. Klein felt like they were, like outsourced them to someone else, and DeWalt probably did even more of that. I don't see much DeWaltiness in this, and the way they're shaped. Which here I'll pull them out of my oh ear holes. These actually have a stick, um, silicone tips because I literally can't get the foams on. We'll explain that in a second. Three physical buttons. My we're going to rehash a little bit about what happened in the Milwaukee's and what happened in the Klein tools. I want to hear the rest of that song. Stop. Physical buttons, you have to push the back side of those giant fucking Milwaukee things to get them to change tracks. The Klein was similar in that there was little rubber caps that you had to not just push the whole back. You had to get to the middle of that center cap and push the fucking button. Well, guess what? Push the fucking button to play pause. And it's a hard, small little fucking button. But that's just play pause. There are separate buttons here, which I'll probably honestly use more for volume up and down, which is on, we're mirrored on both sides. Volume up and down is mirrored. And if you hold them, they change track. So if I wanted to go back, I think I hold the down one. Yeah, we can restart that track, which let you down, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Here's how I know these are good as far as sound quality goes. The Milwaukee's were kind of shit, the Kleins were much better. They were a little more basic. They actually sounded good. I, I gave them a, a full for $69 go. These are 100 I think these sound better, yet have more flaws. I think I hear the compression more in these than I did in the Kleins. Then again, I am using silicone and not the foam. Um, the tip is also one of the consistent things with the Milwaukee and the Klein was that the f tip itself was going through this very small little narrow tube. Now, this is a little fat fucking tuna can, which is almost deep enough to put a regular tip on. Like, I could put my render tip on there. Look, it stays. Ah, there it goes. It's staying. Until you put it in your ear, and then you try to take it out, and it's like, oh, <laughs> and then this is stuck in your ear, and you go into the surgery. Um, so, again, it's another one of those things that, why? Why are you so fucking, sh why? So, you have to use their tips, because they have silicone... There's literally an inside ring that this will pop into, so it doesn't come off. And there is none of that on the foam ones. The foam ones are just a little tiny. No, the, no. The foam ones, I can't get them to go on. I legit tried. And they're they're like a memory foam, so as you're fucking twisting it, they're getting deformed and like pulling apart, and it takes like a solid 30 seconds before they reset, so you could try again. Um, shortest claimed runtime. A couple really nice features where it has like, it'll detect if you're wearing them or not wearing them and player pause based on the sensors built in, which the Kleins didn't have, and I don't believe the Milwaukee's had. I don't remember if I pulled them out of my ear and if they paused or not. I don't remember. So seven and a half, seven and a half hours. These claimed 15. These claimed 10. These claimed seven and a half plus whatever you get out of this, probably 30. They, call, call, they say 30 hours playtime, but that means wear them, charge them, wear them, charge them, wear them, charge them. This dies, then it's done. That's what 30 hours means. The case itself, I think there's a button back here. I don't want to push it. Uh, USB-C, not, the only one that doesn't have like a waterproof cover over it, this is not a waterproof case. DeWalt knows you're going to use these, break them, throw them away, and buy another one. Because DeWalt's probably, of the three brands, DeWalt's probably the most popular one, right? I'm not imagining that. They've been forever. Milwaukee only in the last like five or six years has become like the powerhouse tool. Like, I, I know Milwaukee's existed forever. And my father had a Milwaukee from like 20 years ago. But now they're like, everyone just needs a Milwaukee tool set. DeWalt was Sears, and now it's Home Depot's brand. I forget how, how that goes. But everyone everyone fucking knows DeWalt. So I had to try their IMs. 
So, sound quality. I was feeling an emotional connection to a song. And I was just sitting here chilling just on my phone, uh, trying to plan this trip out to Chicago I'm doing. And I'm just like, fuck, this song is so good. Not these I am sound good. Not uh, they're comfortable or uncomfortable. Just this song sounds good. I was able to ignore most of the bullshit around me and just enjoy music. And I guess that makes this the best of the three. I did them in a random order. I did the Milwaukee's first because I want to do the Milwaukee's first. They did the Kleins, even though they're the cheapest ones. Because I like Klein tools. Like they're an actual like, tool brand that's like tool people. I figured the DeWalt would be like, eh. And they might be the best ones. I just, there's only one, I, I just hate this button. If this button wasn't so hard to press, and the only way to pause music was to push the fucking button. You see how hard I'm, pu here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rest, I'm going to rest my fat fucking arm. Here, I'm going to hold this nice and tight. I'm going to rest my fat fucking arm, and we're going to push it. We're going to push that button, Well, I'm going to give no resistance. I've just dead-armed my left hand. This is very scientific. Here we go. It's fucking, it's like five pounds of pressure. Which, at least these buttons, the up and downs, the next track, last tracks, you can just squeeze the stick. I like the stick. Apple patented the fucking stick and they ruined it for everybody. So I got the largest silicone tips. Even though I usually take a medium on that side, I'm it's they're not that big, so it's it's large and large. Here's your your charging contacts and R and L are pretty easy to read. You kind of can tell which by the angle. There's your little sensors that tell if they're in your ear. Once they're in your ear, you gotta sort of twist them until you find that thing. They're automatically playing now that they're in. The only thing I'll say about the sound quality is at high volume, which they can get loud, and the volume buttons here control the volume there. The Klein Tools was a separate volume control independent of the phone, and I think the Milwaukee was... There was no volume control, I don't think, on this at all. Yeah, you controlled it just with the phone. So the fact that you can control the volume in here, but it is coming off that, so it's kind of a raw... It's like 10% higher. 10% higher, which is a lot. These have the best sound stage. There's it, it, the weakest part is the treble. The treble can get the treble sounds cheap, but that low end and low mids and vocals are all pretty spot on for what I'd want out of a hundred dollar true wireless I am. I heard a little bit of crunchiness from the Kodak because we're using AAC and not LDAC or APDAX. I'm going to go up, but I'm going to go up. They're a fucking blasting right now because that song from that show is just... Hans Zimmer probably listens to that for inspiration. Could absolutely be in Dune 2. Just pick up Aerial Rebuild and drop it in Dune 2 and you'd be like, oh my god, this scene is awesome. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is my review. I'm just gonna look at the look at the wife who got some yellow on her. At uh, uh, uh. pause. It took a little bit, but it finally paused. So yeah, I'd give these I'd give these a reco. hundred bucks. If for some reason you need one, you're not gonna buy a fucking apparently you can't buy a moon drop. You have to buy one from a tool company. It's either gonna be the Kleins or the DeWalts. The DeWalt's... Why did you unpause? Oh, I had them both down facing the table. Okay, they thought this was my ears. They're stupid. You're stupid. Um, yeah, uh, they're crunchy, all right? You're going to get a better product from Moondrop. You're going to get a better product from Final. Any real IM that makes IM things are going to be better than these three. I, this is the first time I've bought all three products with money. It wasn't sent to me by a company or a distributor or, you know, a, f a fan of the channel. I was like, hey, you have to hear these. They're great. I was told to buy these by my friend who's like, you have to he review them because they're super high in SEO. And I'm like, well, fuck it. I'm going to buy these two and we're going to try those out as well. And they're right. And they're right. These are right. Those are right. I like the size on those, but the control, the button is 
fucked. This is better. The things I'm going to be controlling more... Play pause should be the most important. Like, they could have made a third button here instead of there. Here, I'm going to put it in my ear. Will it play with one? It sounds like ass with one. Come on. It actually... Like, the force it takes to push that button is a lot. But since it's got the stick there, it isn't just going in my ear. It's going down and using the outside of my face. Two minutes and 20 seconds into aerial rebuild when the fucking the voices are just chanting. And then the fucking big fucking taiko drums. I love this track. This might be my favorite song from last year. If even if you don't like that show, even if you don't watch anime, I think this is on Amazon Music. Just put on Aerial Rebuild as loud as you can and just feel it. Let it fuck your whole soul out of your body. And it's not the greatest I've heard it. The Aerial right there, but it's... It's acceptable. This is an acceptable amount of quality. It comes with enough tips. Look at these fucking things. What is this? A fucking contact lens? Are these tips for ants? They don't even have any depth to them. In fact, I just had a little piece. Here, here's an even smaller one. I just fell out of the middle of it. There you go. There's your tip right there. It, it, all right. Here, here's here's the real test. I have all three of these. I'll turn those over so they don't keep playing. You said you have to take one right now, and you have to work for 12 hours outside. I'm taking the DeWalt's. That's the way it works. Uh, I would not take the Milwaukee's. They just sound like ass. The Kleins sound good as well. But I think these just, they have enough sound quality and better living features with the push buttons on the sides to race to next track. Because next tracking is like the thing I'd do the most. If I was shopping with these, I'd want to pause to talk to someone. But if I was just next track, next track, I'd rather never push my ear ball in and just hold a button that's diagonal like use two fingers so for that reason fucking alone i'd get the DeWalt's. anyway mouse pad samurai yellow girl yellow whatever she's wearing uh wallpaper horde patreon subscribe so support this channel um you guys actually bought this this time a lot of times it's like a company sent it to me and the patreon subscribers are paid for the lights and the insurance and the fucking everything else. But, um, oh, and look at the manual. It's not a giant folding thing. It's just two pages. They're real thick, though. But it's just a couple pages here in English. This is Spanish. Where is it? There. That's it. That's all, you, all I needed was this. This is what you do. And there's the microphones. And it doesn't sound too bad when I talk on, like, Telegram. So, yeah, you're good. Anyway, so I will link to all three. I think I've linked to all three and all three of them. This is like a series now. If I decide to go out of my way to buy any more tool brand based things, because I haven't gotten these Caterpillar tractor ones, uh, those are a stick as well. Could it be that they haven't? I would almost get these just because. Um, advanced quality noise canceling. Does it actually, though? Because they're $63. Because saying noise canceling doesn't necessarily mean active noise canceling, it could just be passive. Oh, wait a second. Oh, look at this guy. You charge up to eight times with a charge case. Ooh. Up to five hours of playtime. So it's it's even less. So it goes 15, 10, 7.5, and, and the Caterpillar ones are five. So, But we've gotten better as it's gone down. So we've, i got to find one of these that does like one hour worth of playtime. And it'll be fucking awesome. See you next time.